Hey Mutant Nation, I'm Big Ron Partlow and I'm here for another episode of Mutant Meals where we show you exactly how we actually eat which is something that we get a ton of questions about. I know I get a ton of questions from people. How do I get lean? How do I put on size? That sort of stuff. And of course, like everyone always wants to know, carbs. And today that's what I'm gonna talk about. Everyone wants to know what carbs can I eat to get ripped? What carbs can I eat to put on size? And I don't wanna get fat. Everyone's got the same concerns. Well, here's how I do it. Now, this is how I really do it. Off season, putting on size. Well, when I was younger and I was training, I had no concern over what type of carb I was eating. You know, when I was growing up, I just I shoveled in a lot of calories for a lot of years. I didn't really worry about it. Um, but then when I became competitive and I started having to really alter how my body looked from time to time, I started learning a lot about carbs and how they affect my body. And this is how I diet now. When I'm getting ready for a show, I really only use two carbs. I use rice. My favorite rice is jasmine. Um, this is basmati, which I'll eat. It's all the same to me. I don't, you know, worry about what type of rice I'm eating, but I eat mostly jasmine rice or basmati. And um, my other main carb is just oatmeal. This happens to be my favorite oatmeal, as a matter of fact. Um, that would probably constitute 95% of the carbs that I eat when I'm dieting. The only other carbs I would take in would be the odd time I would have some potatoes or some yams or sweet potatoes. There's no reason why I don't have them often other than rice is just so easy to cook and I'm just a convenience guy. So I'm dieting, I cook up a, a big thing of rice and I have oatmeal every morning with my breakfast or you know wherever it goes in the, in the day. And uh, once in a while I'll have potatoes or yams just for a change. But this is pretty much all I ever eat when I'm dieting for a contest for carbs. Other than fibrous vegetables. But I don't really count them in my carb total. Um, so if I say eat 300 grams of carbs a day, I mean that I eat 300 grams of carbs from these foods. Uh, a lot of it would be pre-workout and post-workout. Or uh, first thing in the morning with breakfast and then post-workout. Um, but yeah, that's it. Nice and simple. Uh, I don't think that there's a huge difference you know some people will say oh you know I have potatoes before I train and rice after I train and stuff like that I don't worry about that at all it doesn't seem to make a difference in my body the only thing I can tell you is that when I eat a lot of potatoes I do tend to have more gas digestively um, and I when I carb load for a show I do not use potatoes or yams um, I definitely carb load with rice and oatmeal more uh, potatoes really make me gassy when I'm carb loading with lots of food, like I said. So, yeah, just uh, stick with the basics. Off season, a lot more fun. But uh, even though it's a lot more fun, I still keep it pretty tight. I add a whole grain bread. Now, I have switched to a flourless bread. So, I use uh, this is exactly the type of bread I buy, actually. Um, and the reason I use a flourless bread is because I do notice a difference in how I look. When I eat more flour, I do tend to be heavier with water weight. Um, one thing I notice is my ankles will hold more water when I eat more processed carbs and more flour. So I experimented with flourless bread over the last couple of years and I don't get any of that. I'm not gluten sensitive at all, so I don't worry about gluten. I know that's, that's uh, the big craze right now, um, but I don't have any problems with it. And uh, a little bit of fruit. I'll throw in some fruit. My favorite fruit is strawberries. So uh, I'll, you know, once in a while just eat a, a half pound of strawberries or something like that off season. Um, more of a, a treat. I don't really count them off season. The, the calories in this amount of strawberries is kind of insignificant for someone of my body weight. And um, processed carbs. Here's a box of Pop Tarts. Now I know that a lot of people talk about Pop Tarts. Everyone's joking about Pop Tarts because the you know, a lot of people with the if it fits your macros and all that. But uh, I did actually grow up eating Pop-Tarts when I first started bodybuilding. And uh, I will use them as a simple carb or uh, a post-workout carb. Or even if I'm dieting and I have a high carb day and I need some fast carbs around a workout, I'll sometimes use Pop-Tarts. Um, or, you know, something else very similar. Um, Pop-Tarts are relatively low fat for being a kind of a junky carb I call them. So that's why I would choose those as opposed to like, 
you know, uh, something with more fat in it. Certain muffins and stuff have a lot more fat. Um, but that's really it for my carb intake, guys. I keep it super simple. I don't complicate anything. Um, I've always loved oatmeal and I've always loved rice. So they're my two main carbs. Even in the off season, that's about 90% of my carb intake for the whole year. Um, but nothing like a peanut butter sandwich once in a while. Anyways, that's my carb pre-contest versus off season on Mutant Meals. Big Ron Parlo for Mutant Nation. Thanks.